For these examples, in the following problems, N is the in-center of triangle ABC. Okay, whenever you see the term in-center, you should write sides by it. Because we know the in-center is equidistant from the sides of our triangle. So in our example below, this means that all of the red segments are equal. And since dn is 9, then ne and nf are also 9. ne is 9, and f is 9. But we also want to find db. Well, hopefully what you notice is that the distance from the sides are perpendicular to the sides, creating a right angle and giving us a right triangle. We can redraw this triangle outside if we want to, where we have length db that we're looking for, 9 on side dn, and 15 on bn. We can use the Pythagorean theorem, which tells us a squared plus b squared equals c squared where C is the length of our hypotenuse. And our hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. So it's the side that does not... All right, uh, let me phrase it this way. With our right angle, our right angle is formed of these two sides. Those are the legs of our right triangle. The third side, the side that's not part of the right angle, is the hypotenuse. Well, we can plug these values in, get a squared plus 9 squared equals 15 squared, a squared plus 81 equals 225, a squared equals 144, a equals 12. That means for this example, db is 12. Okay, let's try the next problem. We want to find the value of x. Remember, n is the in-center. If you want to, pause your video. Try this problem on your own. If you're ready to see the solutions, then just keep watching. Again, since n is our in-center, we know that the distance to the sides is all equidistant. So nf, nd, and e are all the same. So if we find nf or nd, we'll be able to help find ne, which will lead us to the value of x. Well, again, we have a right triangle. We'll use the Pythagorean theorem again. And in this case, our hypotenuse is the 37. Okay, we have a squared plus 35 squared equals 37 squared. We have a squared plus 1225 equals 1369. So a squared equals 144, a equals 12, this means that 2x equals 12, so x equals 6. Now there is another way you could have written this equation. Again, you would use the Pythagorean theorem, but instead of just leaving it as an a, we're going to go ahead and use the 2x here. The important part of this is how you set it up. You need to write the 2x in parentheses because the entire 2x is being squared. This would give us 4x squared plus 1225 equals 1369. So 4x squared equals 144. x squared equals 140. 